Okay, I'm about to show you a video. It's a video, the first couple of clips is going to talk a little bit about the weather here. We had a red sky this morning, so I'll, I'll show you a couple of those clips. Uh, red sky in, in morning, sailors take warning. Red sky at night, sailors delight. We are forecasted to get winds here in this area gusting to 110 kilometers per hour. In areas prone to southeasterly winds, it could reach 150 kilometers per hour. That's 93.2 miles per hour. 150 kilometers per hour is right on the cusp of, of uh, going from Cat 1 to Cat 2 hurricane force winds. I think 154 kilometers, it becomes Cat 2. Places along the Bay St. George area and areas prone to strong southeasterly winds today will have, uh, will have quite a, a day and a night ahead of them. I think it's supposed to die down come tomorrow. As soon as we can get some snow, I'm going to do my regular winter adventures, the tundra adventures, snowshoeing, rabbit catching with the portable pens, and winter camping. I, I've been, I'm all geared up, can't wait to get out and do some winter camping. But all that being said, here I'll just roll a couple of clips talking briefly about the weather and then I'll show you clips highlighting the, the beauty of snowmobiling. But when you get the right conditions, it becomes a beautiful, peaceful adventure. Hope you stay tuned and watch that. We had about six plus inches of snow yesterday. All right, wet, wet, heavy, heavy snow. And then it turned to rain last night. Oh, I got a phone call. Don't have to answer that. Give me a second, would you? So that was my son. I talked to him maybe, uh, maybe 10 minutes, 15 at the most. And it went from pouring down rain to big fluffy snowflakes. Not sure if you guys can see the snow falling there in the camera, but it's coming down pretty good. Not, not, not nowhere near stormy or anything, but it's uh, snow and blowing snow. It's got a, a good, good stiff breeze to it. I can guarantee you that. We're facing northwest right now, now, and you can still see the the red sky, kind of reddish, pinkish. Red sky in morning. Sailors take warning. This is the 26th of January. 1979 was the last time we had no snow in January. But anyway, today's video, I'll show you a little bit of snowmobiling I, I did when we had a little bit of snow a couple weeks ago. All right, this is the first part of the trail that I'm wanting to show you. It's a, you've seen it already. That's the spot that Sean and I kind of uh, put down a few little logs and some boughs. Here's the second spot, the, the bad washout. Still hardly any snow. Look how little snow there is here. It was well protected by the, by the trees. Now, you, now you're getting an idea of kind of what it's like to, to go snowmobiling. We didn't have a lot of snow. It was just a dusting of snow from the night before. You can still see the, uh, the tracks and skidoo. The rear carbides had uh, dug in there on the skis. Like I said, this is just a couple of a little short random clips of uh, the ride, the ride up. Sun is starting to break out here pretty good. The lighting is getting a lot better. I'll play a little bit more of this clip. I don't know, there's something so peaceful about coming up in the winter. The woods, the woods is a, is a lot quieter. There's a lot less birds around. The ones that fly south are all gone. We're gonna go straight there next time through. This time we're gonna cut up 
to the left. And now I'm working my way back, and this is where I'm going to do a quick turnaround. I decided to leave that in there to show you guys how the snowmobile turn around. Uh, the camera is mounted right on the front bumper. It gives it a nice steady shot, but it's a little too low, eh? It doesn't give you guys enough downward angle. I'm going to have to mount it underneath the windshield. The only thing is I, I really don't trust those. Uh, here, here's where we're going to go straight now. And this is what we would call the old money trail. Notice how how long the limbs are on some of the branches, especially the branches that are on the right hand side of the trail going up. Some of these branches are six, seven, eight feet long. But what, what needs to happen here is the, the trees on the lower side of the trail, some of them need to be, the ones that are sticking out into the trail need to be knocked down. And you build almost like a wall on the, on the right hand side going up and uh, then all everything's got to be, be limbed top top side left side and, and right side and all the limbs got to help build up that wall because as you as you go up a little further away where I turn this view around it that is where the trail really starts to get out to the right hand side of, of the, the granny and it, it, it starts to slope starts to angle down so from here on up you, you, there's an angle to the trail and right where I turn around here you'll see there's a moose a couple of moose came out right through there but it seems like there's a bit of a trail there and I might just end up following that one now here on the on the return trip uh, I, I I keep the the old runny trail into it the entire clip just so that you can see how how small and how narrow it is up, up through here there's going to be a lot of work but I, I think I will open it up like this, this first part is really good the trail stays really flat it really is just widening the trail for so that you can pass other snowmobiles make it a little safer is really all that's needed there's no need to cut down any trees but the further up you go is where the trail starts to bank and higher on the left and lower on the right so you want to build up the right side going up but yeah that this is this is what it's like to snowmobile so peaceful so quiet It's one of my favorite part of the trail, so I left I left uh, this this clip in. Now I'll uh, soon start showing you just just random clips. kitchen over the years and in this section here this was always a great section but there's not gonna be a, a lot of narration from this point on just enjoy just enjoy the shadows the, the light the transition from shadow to light the Sun how it reflects off the trees and the snow and I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more videos.